We fell out the OS to fight? We didn't sign up to slave all day in an iron mine for your infinity? You said you need throat slit, and that's why we are here. Fighting, plunder, and a fat booty is all we are asked for. Yet you have us work and work and work. What for reason? You think Phobos just let me go with half of his squad to pay my old debts? Don't be a fool, Zachmo. What then? This base is to supply his troops with food, weapons and equipment. We are his shield to the west and his eyes in the holy nation. My goals are only a side thought to him. So we are to just work here? Producing iron plates and green fruit? This ain't what we sign for. Patience. We are to establish a self-sufficient base with guards able to protect the workers. And then we are to rejoin him. And I promise you, Zachmo, throats are about to get slit. Soon. Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Welcome back to Kenshi and welcome back to our story. So, uh, some of the people are getting impatient, you could say. Infinity, Dolanul, and Zachmo had a talk. Uh, you know, you see, Zachmo is not too happy of just working around here. He's a fighter, and so is Dolanoodle. So, um, yeah, we need to get them out there. So, what I was trying to say over here is that. Uh, this base is slowly shaping up, right? We're getting the workers to work on all these, but we definitely don't have enough people to actually work on everything. Especially because eventually, we're gonna take Don Noodle, Zachmo, probably Hashem, probably Lost, definitely Van Vuven, uh, definitely Arrest. Those are gonna be fighters that are gonna go out there and rejoin the original squad. Definitely these guys, possibly some more. Uh, so what I need, I already don't have enough people over here, so we need to recruit more. We need someone to attack us, or us going out there and finding some starving bandits or dust bandits or something like that. Just smacking them on the head and getting them in here to work for us as, well not exactly slaves, but they can join us and work for us, right? So, uh, right now we're building a new research bench up here, that is very much needed. Hashem and the rest are just working on that. Uh, and I was thinking around this area, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna drop down a bunch more uh, Where is it prisoner cages? Right because eventually I do as I said I want to recruit more people and if we can recruit them all in one big go That's completely fine with me. We do have the iron plates needed. So why not try doing I mean It's also it also looks kind of gruesome if you have a prison like this up here don't you agree? <laughs> I know that originally I intended to have this as a, a sleeping area, but we can always build more places as a sleeping area, so let's confirm this. Hashem, I would really appreciate if you went and built the stuff on this side, but you know, you do you, buddy. You do you. So yeah, we're gonna have this. Uh, they also should be working on the... Well, the research bench, just light up here. Well, that's gonna eventually be done. But anyway, you get my point. We need more people. And also, as it is right now, uh, Golden Tate has almost made enough of these. So these vests, I checked. These ones take longer to be made than just a normal um, trader's letters. So that's really obnoxious. I gave Buck, Alex, XD, Zach already have them. Uh, Buck is actually gonna trade that with Kim Lu Pai. Because Buck is, well, he, Buck, no, actually not Kim Lupai, yeah, no, Buck, uh, Golden Tate, and Kim Lupai will get their own set, because they are crafters, they do work in here, these guys work in the mines and, and uh, farms, these guys craft, so they're gonna get their own look, now, I'm not quite sure yet what that look is gonna be, and also Kim Lupai has made uh, their first staff, Rusted junk, beautiful. How about you drop this in here? Uh, I don't think uh, they're gonna be dropping anything in here until they get a backpack. I've seen this work that way. And it's pretty obnoxious, but whenever Loss rejoins us, he's uh, I think pretty far away still. He's gonna have, uh, oh, well not that far. He's gonna have some backpacks for us, so that's gonna be great. Hey, Lost and Bob are back. 
Ain't that just great? Okay, lost. You get to do your job again, whatever that was. Looks like a lot of farming. And Bob. Oh, yeah, Bob has the hemp. Bob has some books. And Bob still has one katana and some steel bars and a bunch of electrical components and also uh, Healing stuff for everybody that doesn't have that which is I think quite a lot of people don't actually have Anything to heal others with starting with Zatchmo Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna trade and give them all of them healing items Because I bought a bunch and also we need to give them backpacks so that's that's really important the workers all get backpacks all right lost is going to be producing uh flour over here straw flour which with which we can then start getting bread we have a ton of it so if you can then combine bread with uh, cooked vegetables which we also have already a lot of them cooked well then we can start making food cubes which is pretty good pretty good food animals still happily enjoying feeding on all of this which is all great again we just need more people over here and yeah that's that's unfortunate there's not much we can do besides maybe getting attacked there's a beast trader coming here to the holy shield all right well it's not too bad we might buy another uh, bull or two maybe another dog who knows where are you beast trader are you over here looks like you're coming that way that's okay yeah, it's okay. Lost? Doing this happily ever after? Yeah. Uh, oh, this actually gives you a farming skill up. That's nice. How is Alex doing? Uh, we're getting some cloth. We're also using a bunch of cloth for all of these things. So, hopefully he gets up there. Uh, this vest has been made. And the uh, pants are being made. So, well, Kim Lepai for now. Actually, well, Buck... You already have the things. Buck, you need... Where are you even? Operating which machine? What are you doing here, man? Oh, did you run out of a uh, letter? Ah, oh, that's cool. That's okay. Yeah, you do this thing. That's fine. Uh, you need the pants. Congratulations. Uh, Alex also needs the pants. And Alex is not close enough. So, finally getting uh, these guys geared up nicely. I do like that very much and then Zach still needs the vest and we got another set of pants with which we need to give also to Zach all right that's fine these ones are high grade awesome so these guys are now fully equipped which I really do like actually Kim no Pai, while you wait get yourself some shoddy stuff okay that's gonna be better. I really appreciate how you, uh... Where'd you put your weapon to? In here? Alright, well, that, that's okay. If you wanna put your weapon in there... Actually, I think if I put your weapon here, you should be fine. This is all... Oh, it's rusting blade now. No longer rusting junk. So Kim Lopai is getting there. 13 of Weaponsmith. That's sweet. Now that we've made these, Golden Tate gets to play with something else. So Golden Tate, first things first. How are we doing on letter? Uh, we have enough letter. Okay. First things first, he's going to make us two of these. Impaler's arm wraps. Yeah, these ones are going to be made pretty fast. And actually, if you could check the queue, you can see that these things... Uh, give you extra crossbow effect, dexterity, assassination, face protection, perception bonus. Basically, this is for crossbow people. After that, after he's done with that, he's gonna start working over here. And over here, he's gonna make a double set of impaler armor. There you go. We're gonna... Actually, you know what? Don't repeat. Just do a double set. There you go. So this is gonna be for two people. For these two guys. Uh, hello. Nomads. Rivara, do you want to go talk to them? Let's have you go talk to them. Hello. Do you have animals? Show me what you've got. Uh, so they have some pack beasts. They have another bone dog. Pack bull. Oh, we don't have any goats. We need goats. It's a very dark goat. Some more bluish goat. 
female and a male. I think we gotta do this. Say hello to our new two Steves. Hello, Steves. Welcome. Welcome, Steves. Oh, right, Infinite is gonna take uh, stuff from this guy. Excuse me. Nomads. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you coming inside? Why are you coming inside? Get out of here. Alright, Steves, you gotta follow. There you go. Go here, Steves. Play with the other animals. What are these guys doing? Did they did they go out? I think all of them left now. That's great. But the most important thing is we have Steves! We need more Steves. Now if you get these guys into a fight, they're basically just gonna die in one hit. That's unfortunate. Ooh, triangle assault? Did I even get a notification for that? No, I didn't. Where are they? Where are my triangle friends? Well, we get to have fun with them. I don't see them. There's the people leaving. Where are the triangle boys? Here they come. There's the world leader. He has a 52 attack. That's yeah, that's pretty strong. There's more. That's the hunter. He's also pretty strong. So I've seen on Reddit people saying that after the if you kill some of the bandit leaders, leaders, the triangle hunters get stronger, and then if you kill more of their leaders, they get even more stronger. So you get attacks from them that have like 90 plus attack and edge type uh, swords and weapons. So that's pretty damn insane. Uh, if you think about it, I've not seen su such like that though. Wow, that was quite a shot. These guys thought that that might be a bad idea going in here. <laughs> oh, their leader is down. Goodbye. Nice. The hunter is gonna get wrecked as well. And he's also down. Shame we can't recruit these guys. That's just the bandit. We're gonna go loot them though. Just because they have uh, those at least standard grade coats. This is a hunter as well, I think. Yeah. They already fought something, you know? That's what I see for these guys, triangle boys. Whenever they come to attack you, they already like fight something else, somewhere else. Oh, this one even made it to the gate. How about you guys shoot him? I hear you shooting. Oh, you shot the other guy in the ass. Uh, arrest. Be careful. These guys might shoot you if you get too close. Good one. Another, another guy down. And another guy down. Good job. Uh, is there more? Does not seem so. At least not at the present. Alright, let's open this. Alright, let's go out here and loot these guys. We might have something useful for us. Older fitted bait now. Nah. We gotta take the standard grade stuff though. Whatever is standard grade, we take. Uh, these guys are gonna have shoddy. Yeah, probably the hunters and the leaders do have standard grade. Or, you know, allied. That was shoddy. Get rid of that. I don't need the martial arts bindings. That's okay. Uh, let's go loot this guy. At least we can use this for something, you know? This is all crap as well. Yeah, this is the leader. He also has the... Uh, the beaker, the jaw, which is also Braycraft, so no, thank you. All right, these things we're gonna take. Arrest, you can go position that in our in our base, and we're gonna be just happily ever after doing our thing. Good job. Well, it looks like we had some uh, hungry bandits join up with the triangle boys. They're all dead though, I think. Yeah. Oh, this one is just dying. Okay, uh, you two. Do we have... Do we have healing stuff on anybody? No, of course not. Why do you ask? Uh, Arrest has some. And Law should have. Okay. Let's go heal that uh, Hungry Bandit. Let's see if we get him to join us. Come on. You two. Let's go heal... What? Did he just die? Oh my god. I swear to god. No, there he is. First aid this guy. Yeah. Save him. Be careful not to get shot in the process. Take his staff. Throw it on the ground. 
Lost? No, no. Uh, pick him up. Sweet. Alright, we got ourselves a hungry bandit. We're gonna try recruiting him. Uh, we need more workers, even if they're hungry bandits. I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna go... Actually, we don't need to be here. We can get, put you in here. We have the new area for that. Let's go. Yeah, put you in here. Sweet. All right, this guy's gonna be a recovery come off for a bit. That's okay. Hey, we're making bread. One woman is carrying stuff over here. And the bread is being made. Oh, that's awesome. It's all automatic. So it's all beautiful. Uh, we have our first hemp farm over here. Nobody gave it water yet, so we need to have someone working on that pronto. Oh, even Arrest is helping with us, really? You're not very good at farming, are you? That's okay. Arrest, you know what? You get to do the hemp farm first. That's how we roll. There you go. So you bring in water. Because it needs water. Boom. So with hemp farm, we can uh, start making uh, medicine. That's, that's the important thing. We can start making medicine. And eventually we will. Uh, just as a, Again, we need more people. That's basically what there is. We just need more people. These guys are all dead. Uh, question. Did Golden Tate make the first set of armor? Holy shit, he made both sets of armor almost. He just need one more set of pants. Good. Uh, Infinite Wingwen, you get to have the pleasure of the first set oh that's great it's all like really good uh, stuff as well okay, let's see this was high grade oh we even have specialist grade over here why not specialist boots damn is he good okay high grade pants uh, high grade head and then we get to give you the come on open that the Impaler wraps. So, let's look at Infinite Wingman. Show us yourself. Look at how good this looks. Oh my god. This is proper Kanshi stuff. It is added from a mod. It's Impaler gear. And I really, really like the way it looks. You gotta admit. It's, uh, it gives you, let's see, perception bonus over here. Some crossbow effects. Dexterity effect. Assassination skill. Uh, that's on the wrap. Over here on the pants you get dexterity and attack damage effect, which is really solid. On boots you get dexterity effect. Uh, on head you get crossbow effects and dexterity and extra perception bonus. Right? And on the chest you get dexterity attack damage and plus melee defense. How nice! Infinite Wing Wen. You go buddy, you are our first impaler and then uh... Rivara is going to be our second Impaler. Holy shit, that's really good. I love this. Just imagine most of our squad look like this. It's going to be great. Now all we need to give them is the proper weapons. There you go. Rivara is also ready. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. I love this. Now we get to uh, craft some armor for our blacksmith. Like Kim Lupai over here. Who is up to making rusting blades? Well, it's, it's where you start, you know? Yeah, you have to start somewhere and rusting blades is where you started. That's okay. Maybe we have them uh, keep these uh, long, like, vests? I don't, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, actually, first, we need uh, heavy armor for arrest. I did promise arrest some heavy armor. So, we need to give that to her. She's very bad at everything right now, but... She gets to have the heavy armor, and someone should wear this as well. I think Dola Noodle is gonna do that. Because Dola Noodle does have just the mercenary leather armor that it's not the greatest thing ever. I mean, when you see these badasses over here aiming at you in this armor, you gotta be afraid, man. <laughs> you just gotta be afraid. I think that it's one of the best looking uh, armors that you can get from mods. I have a couple more. One that's really cool also, that uh, it's like a uh, knight, like a kind of a death knight, something like that vibe. Really looks cool, you even have a cape for it, so that's amazing. Also cloth production is definitely not fast enough. 
here from Alex, which is really unfortunate. So I think we're gonna double on the cloth production. Maybe you get someone else. Actually, whenever we get hemp going, we can do that. We need to upgrade this. Plus 10 hemp. One day, my friends, one day. Say hello to Arrest and her shiny new, very, very heavy armor. <laughs> Look at also her eyes. That's amazing. Alright, so we made her a set of crab armor. Which uh, has a crab helmet. Not very good for perception, but really good protection though. Also dust storm acid and burning. Crab armor, acid and burning. So she's perf uh, perfectly protected from burning and acid now. From just these two. Also nice fist protection. Dexterity effect. Yeah, it doesn't make you very good in dexterity, but that's okay. Uh, crab shoes over here. Uh, and crab trousers. So yeah, you're not going to be very dexterous. But you're gonna be very strong like anything that's gonna hit you it's gonna be just okay just okay for you uh, it's also probably gonna encumber you so you will work on that strength of yours running around crafting all the stuff so I think that's gonna be pretty good for you how's my animals doing I think my animals all my Steve's are just chilling around here look this Steve has dexterity bonus don't know why for armor and equipment apparently Steve you don't have any armor or equipment uh, also, I built the um, medical workbench where we can make uh, the standard first aid kits uh, that will take hemp and fabrics and we can make these. So, uh, sleeping bags are just fabrics. Okay, so we're gonna be making these. This also levels up your healing stuff, I think. Uh, but, you know, right now we just don't have any hemp or anything to even do it quite yet but I think I really like the way this is like slowly coming together I think this is a pretty cool place uh, it's gonna need some more lights of course uh, one in the middle over here uh, we need one at the entrance over here and then we're gonna need one over here roughly as well and in the end one in here as well and that should pretty much light up the whole place I think now, I still am waiting over here. Probably there's gonna be another, like, a cooking area. Maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. And over here, I think we're gonna have some tables for people to just sit when they need to sit somewhere. So, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be pretty cool. Look at that. It's all nicely lit up. Oh, this looks good, doesn't it? And we can have some chests and stuff like in here as well, just to make it more homely and look like a proper base. But otherwise, this is... I'd say pretty good, and then upstairs we have, well, this. Oh, did you wake up? Oh, that's great. We're gonna have someone talk to you. Hell yeah, we're gonna have maybe Zach. Zach, do you have any food in your inventory? Go up here, Zach. Go talk to the hungry bandit. Let's see if you can recruit them. Everybody, say hello to Richard. Let's uh, get him a bit closer. Look at that face paint. Oh yeah, I like you. I like you very much. Now, uh, you're gonna be one of our new. Uh, I don't know, cooks or crafters, something like that, Reacher. Don't you worry about it. Uh, first, we're gonna need to give you some, uh, well, armor and weapons and stuff like that. So, don't you worry about it. And also, you're gonna need to heal yourself up. So, chill. Oh, look at that. Guess who shot who this time around? Good job. <laughs> that was a payback. It looks like someone was... I don't know who you guys were shooting at, but... Good job. Nice one. <laughs> Payback is a bitch. Oh man, why is there pants over here? Also, so we gave Richard um, Zach, uh, Buck's clothes because Buck is a crafter. He's gonna get a different uh, clothing set. I'm not quite sure yet which. For now, he gets to have uh, these things. Just the standard pack, you know, nothing special. And something for your head as well. Sure, we have something. You can have the fog mask for now. There you go, Buck. For now, you have to have that. Uh, after that, Golden Tate is working on that leather turtleneck. It's not that necessary as you would think. Uh, I need to come up with a uh, proper set for these guys. What I could do for crafters is just use the coat and then the coat, maybe the, the same pants. Right? So that would be three of these pants. We already have the coats, but we can make them better. We can make... not the sleeveless. 
We need just the coats. Hmm. Do we not have the normal ones? This one's the sleeveless. I want the ones with the sleeves. It does seem we don't have them. Huh. Well, what we can do is just make the black letters to showcase who is a crafter and who isn't. So we do the black letters, we do the, the pants, that those will go well with. And then, well, we do the same boots. As for a hat, we can also do the uh, same hat, I think. And then we do... Uh, we can do the vests also black, but... How about we just do the normal vests? I think we just do the normal vests. Yeah, I think this is okay. This is for my three crafters. That we're gonna have. Yeah, okay. This is good. Just need to figure out what Richard's gonna be doing. Maybe we get Richard uh, making us medicine? Mm, that's not gonna be a thing for a while. First things first, how about we upgrade the hemp? Congratulations. Um, I think Van Boeven was the main hauler. Yeah. No, someone was main hauler. Zach, possibly? Was it Zach? Yes. Zach, haul here as well. Please. Oh, he's also doing the cooking. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do any hauling. Because he constantly has the cooking to do. Pretty much. Mm, that's really unfortunate. How are we doing on bread? We have 22 bread. It's really nice. Lost. Uh, Lost, I need you to haul here. Hold the ham for me, man. There you go. Actually, we have some hemp now. Not much. Two whole hemp. And Bob still has some. So, there is that. Oh, great. It's completely full. Oh, well, we uh, apparently have a lot of uh, cotton. <laughs> Who would have thought? But that's okay. That is okay. You guys fine? You're just aiming at something, aren't you? 25 precision. 30 turrets. 25 turrets. 25 precision. Well, it looks like... Uh, Rivara is lear learning faster or something like that. That's that's okay. Anyway, we have the the set done now what we are crafting. How are you doing? Rusting blade still, Kimlopai? Are you for real? No, there's a Katan 2. There's a Katan 2 stuff. Alright, now that's that's proper. Richard, you get yourself a new stuff. There you go. I like that. I like that. You guys can have ninja blades as secondaries, but otherwise, you guys get staffs. Staves? Look at that. 13 attack now from just nothing. I like this. I like this. Now we need to give Richard a job. So think first things first. Yes, make medicine. You are forward field medic, so that's not too bad. After that, we'll see. We'll give you something else. Uh, excuse me. What happened here? Uh, Bob got shot in the head. Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder if these two guys... Oh, you know what are they trying to do? They're trying to shoot at Richard. I'm pretty sure. Because we just recruited them. They're trying to shoot at Richard. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Did they shoot Bob again? This should Steve this time around. Shoot someone? Or where are you going? <laughs> oh, man. Don't shoot Richard anymore. I'm gonna have to reload to actually do this proper. But that's okay. As long as Richard doesn't get shot, we're fine. No, wait. Did you shoot Van Vuven? Seriously. Also, Richard, why are you not operating this? Oh, we don't have any cloth, do we? Who's my main cloth person? Ah, uh, I forget. Isn't it Alex? 
Yeah. Alex, you're the main person. Get get this going, man. You need to you need to make cloth for me like constantly. Like pretty much. All right, I'm gonna need to reload the game, uh, or else Richard's gonna constantly be shot at, which is unfortunate, but it happens. And now he's making us our first medicine. That's amazing. All right. Yep, crafting medicine gives you filled magic. That's really nice. I like it. Uh, I totally forgot about my other squad this episode. <laughs> I'm sorry for no like real action. I do apologize for that. Um, it, went to them and bought them food because they were like totally out of food which is pretty unfortunate some of them were starving we need some more river uh, not river bandits we're raptors to come out here i was expecting more to be honest who do we have here hey hungry bandits that's exactly the people we need don't kill them all please and don't shoot each other okay you guys please here we go oh boy Oh boy, you got him. You did not get him. The other ones are not. Oh, this guy's toast. Yeah, he lost an arm. Not recruitable. <laughs> Don't want him. Oh wow, 172 stomach. Oh, <laughs> 166 to head. How about you? How long will you survive? 116 only to a left leg. He's critical. He's playing dead. Uh, lucky for you. So, I think we get to go grab these two guys, I think. Congratulations, boys. You've done it. We're gonna open this and we're gonna see if we can recruit some of these bad boys. Because we kinda do need them. Okay, you go uh, first aid this bandit. And Rivaro, you get to first aid this bandit. I'm sure these bandits are like very very afraid when they see these guys coming out in this gear. They're like, oh my god, what have we done? You already done this? Alright, let's uh, loot him. Throw this on the floor. And pick him up. Why are you taking so long, Wingman? Come on, man. Good job. Good job. Alright. With any luck, we're gonna get ourselves two more recruits. Any luck. I don't know if there's gonna be any luck, but we're gonna certainly try. Two more people working on the farms. The thing is, um, I think if we have just a couple of really good fighters and then the rest, even if they're just hungry bandits, uh, with these guys on the turrets, we can protect ourselves. I'm pretty sure. Okay, these guys are gonna now chill over here for a long time. I think we can protect ourselves even from the worst raids for now because we are not actually getting any really bad raids. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Rivaro, you get to get another person. Beautiful. So that's why that's why I'm okay if we recruit oh my god, this guy is really about to die. Wow, you saved him. Three more points and he would be pretty much dead. Not a nice way to go. I mean, you're a hungry bandit. What can you expect, right? Still not a nice way to go. I'll do log this, please. But oh well. These guys, potential recruits. That's all I'm gonna say. Potential recruits. Uh, if you get some of them in, they can, they can work as people on the farms. They can cook. Uh, they can even research if needed. They can make us medicine. Look at that, we made some medicine, they can make us cloth, because we definitely need someone else working on the loom over here. Ooh, yeah, we definitely need our loom. Because everybody needs cloth right now for all the armor and stuff that we're working on. Hell yeah, we need cloth. Golden Tate is working on these letters. Oh yeah, he already made double. That's the triple. Look at all these good stuff. Also 74 smithing. How are we doing? How much letter do we still have? 24. We need some more skins. Oh, Buck was working over here. I need to see Buck. What's your uh, skill level? 50, 55. I, I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, and Kim Lapai is making us Katan 2 stuff now, which I think we now need a better weaponsmith to even do the better stuff, I think. 
Mm, you see we have Gusoko armor over here that we can unlock at some point. Advanced medicine would be nice. Uh, cannibal plate would be kind of cool. Uh, the other weaponsmith too. I don't know if we unlock better stuff. I think at some point when you do like... Yeah, you can do Katan 3 only. So we don't have a research for higher stuff, I think. So Katan 2. There's a bunch of Katan 2 stuff over here. Okay. Uh, so we can do better. Anyway, uh, all of my farmers get to have staffs, staves now. So that's great. That's an improvement, isn't it? Go get your stave, boys. Go get your stuff. And you get to put your ninja blade in here. Good stuff. Buck, you too. There you go. And uh, well, Buck, you get to have the black stuff now. You see? Oh, there's not even inventory space for that. And this black thing. And well, pants we haven't made yet. And boots. I thought we had some more of those boots. Yeah, there's one set more over here. There you go. Not these. <laughs> that would be silly. All right, these boots. All right. Getting better. Looking better now. I like this. So uh, the crafter is going to be black. The uh, the other guys not so black. That's great. What are you guys doing here? I think they were delivering iron planes. That's okay. So that you don't think I took completely forgot about the broken. Well, we're gonna do some quick looting around here with Wiper. Uh, let's see. We haven't done any thievery in a long time. So let's even see what they have around here. Besides nothing. <laughs> I do think they have bread in here, don't they? Oh, did, did this, this didn't even get replenished. From all this time we looted this. It's been days and years and all that stuff when you stole food from them. They have some bread. That's that's okay. But that's about it. Well that's disappointing. It's very disappointing. Let's go this is residential. This one ain't gonna have much, I don't think. Yeah, it's still unlocked over here. Well that's just crap. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the, this general storage. I think we looted it last time as well. That's the residential. I thought there might be some more uh, stuff over here or that it might replenish itself. Well, I thought wrong. But I'm pretty sure we didn't take everything. There's another food cube. These things we can take because they can be money. Otherwise, very disappointing, I must admit. Very, very disappointing. Oh, don't escape uh, actually we do need building material that we do so that's not too bad of a hole and steel bars as well armor plating we can take you can't pick that up that's okay so yeah, at least we have something also you might have noticed that uh, shadow sen has joined the squad down here next episode i promise we get to do more with these guys i just had you know a lot to do at our base and uh, I think base building is still interesting uh, no matter what so uh, that's that's why we do it that's why we do it and uh, well even though we kinda kinda had to forget about these guys for one episode I promise next episode more action more action and with that I'm gonna finish this episode for now thank you all for watching do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more Doom Magic. And I will see you next time. Kick her out.